My name is Sharon Scobanner, and at the last city council meeting, I spoke to you about freedom of speech and of the press. After my presentation, Mayor Bailey chose to comment on a couple examples that I presented. For the second straight meeting, she referenced Mr. Stanton and said that, I, that she had apologized to him for erroneously, erroneously telling him he could not speak during open forum. This is not accurate. Here is the sound from the meeting. So that was the exchange between the mayor and Mr. Stanton. And it's clear from this um, audio of the meeting that Mayor Bailey barely acknowledged that she even made a mistake. She said she believed she was mistaken and there was no apology. An apology usually starts with something like, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Two days after the last meeting, I emailed Mayor Bailey in hopes that we could correct the record in a non-public forum. Unfortunately, she has never acknowledged my email. The second topic Mayor Bailey addressed was her ability to use her discretion to deny a citizen the right to be placed on the agenda. She referenced a change to Rule 18, which says that the mayor has discretion to restrict the public from being placed on the agenda. This is another change to counter rules under the leadership of Mayor Bailey, limiting the speech of citizens. It should be noted that Rule 18 does not give her discretion to deny an elected official the right to be placed on the agenda, but she has done that too. More importantly, having discretion to do something and wanting to do something are two very different things. When arbitrary discretion is allowed, it can lead to favoritism and discrimination. These recent changes to council rules are a very disturbing trend during the recent election cycle, all the candidates running for council said that listening to the citizens was of utmost importance. I have had similar conversations about this with Mr. Bateman. Now that now is the time for all the members of council to honor their promises to listen to the citizens and at the very least change the council rules back to the way they were before. I shouldn't have to remind you that the citizens alone are at the very top of the organizational chart of Loveland, and every member of, of council reports to that. Under Mayor Baylor, Bailey's leadership, one, council has changed at least three council rules that prevent speech, limit speech, or chosen to arbitrarily use discretion to limit speech without explanation. She has used the police chief to intimidate the press and tried to deny access of the press to meetings and relegated them to a timeout spot in the back corner of council chambers. She has denied a duly elected council member the right to speak during council meetings. She has not followed rule seven of council that calls for the mayor to be fair and impartial. She has been dismissive of those who appear before council, especially to those expressing an opinion that differs from hers. She has tried to push through pet projects without public hearings or referendums. When she makes mistakes, she doesn't readily admit them and chooses not to apologize to those harmed. She has sided with developers to the detriment of current citizens, even when it's contrary to the comprehensive master plan. She has been admonished by the city solicitor on numerous occasions because her actions could have resulted in legal action against the city. There is nothing to be gained by continuing the current leadership, but there is much to lose. The voters have spoken, and it's well past time that council starts listening. We need a change in leadership that reflects the will of the people. My hope is that another member of council will come forward to be the next mayor of Loveland, and will be the leader that truly responds to the will of the people who elected them. 
Thank you.